What's going on? It's E Major, and this is Lesson Learned. And today I have a special treat. I did something that I have never done. It has to do with the Flaming Hot Cheetos challenge. Now, I've never tasted these. I taste regular Cheetos. I'm not too particular about really, really spicy things. It messes up my stomach a little bit. But I'm seeing it all over YouTube, and I definitely wanted to try it myself. So what I did, what I did, what E Major did was I made Hot Flaming Cheetos Buffalo Wings. Yes, 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 yes. Hot Cheetos Buffalo Wings. Yes. Yes, look at that. Look at that. You see that? Yes. I can't wait to taste it. No, I didn't cheat and taste it before you guys can see. I wanted all us to experience it together. So I'm going to pour some of these hot Cheetos on the plate. As such. And you know what I always have with me? My trusty water. Poland spring. That's the only water I like to drink. Then I have my little cup because I got some uh, ranch dressing, but it's um, yogurt dressing. Something to coat my stomach while I'm eating this. And plus I love ranch dressing with buffalo wings. This is something new. I never taste this dressing as well. It's from um, Boathouse. Boathouse Farms. Classic ranch yogurt dressing. So here we go. Let's see. Ah. Mmm. I like it. Okay. Pour it on. Just pouring some in here. Like that. Okay. What you guys like on your buffalo wings? And it has 45 calories for two um, tablespoons. And um, three grams of fat. The carbs is only three, so it's carb friendly. Oh, but can't wait to taste this. Okay, I'm gonna taste it without the ranch first. Ooh. Okay, I wonder if it's spicy. We're gonna find out right now. Like I said, here we go. That looks so good, right? Uh-huh, uh-huh. That's the way I like it. Uh-huh, mm-hmm. Yes. And with you guys, I have a DIY video that's showing you guys how to make this. I will give you a little hint. They were not fried. Mmm. I've been missing out on the hot Cheetos. Flaming Hot Cheetos Buffalo Wings. Wow. They're going to start selling these, watch. <laughs> In the stores. Hot Cheeto. Got to be careful. Mmm. Whoa. Like I said, today's my first time tasting these. I'll, I taste the regular, but the hot, today's my first day. Well, it tastes good, but it's spicy. So now, I'm going to try one with the ranch. Okay. Dip that, dip that. And yeah, you can taste that before me. Let me know how it tastes. It's good? Oh, yeah? Let me see. It is good. So I got all this red on. I guess I talk about Valentine. I don't have a Valentine this year, which is cool with me. A little traumatized from last year. My ex-girlfriend and I. You wanna hear about it? <laughs> 
Oh, let me shout out <clears throat> Snack Saloon. <clears throat> Ooh, that's getting to me. <clears throat> Ooh. Snack Saloon. I told you I was going to shout you out. I'm shouting you out. Um, he shows me so much love on my videos. So much love. And I want to give a big shout out to you, Snack Saloon. Like I said, comment, subscribe, and I'll give you a shout out. It's not a thing. I have no problem with shouting people out. So back to the story that I know y'all want to hear. So, mm. last year, Valentine, I had this whole, old, whole elaborate, you know, setup that for um my girlfriend. I ordered a promise ring with a chain to match, and you know, I'm just like, I'm letting her know that I'm committing to her, and we're gonna do this on Valentine's Day. Or whatever the case may be. I made her she don't eat regular chocolate, so I made white chocolate, um, strawberries, bought some champagne. I bought some decorations for the room. So the room, my bedroom, was like decorated with hearts and you know, lights and everything. I I, I mean I, the whole shebang I did. The whole shebang. And um the night before Valentine's Day, you know, I don't want to put my business out like that. The night before Valentine's Day, we had a little, I want to say a little tiss, a little, I don't really want to say argument, but this little disagreement. And, um, you know, when, you, I, when, you have, when you're in a relationship, you get into a disagreement and you're not talking, but it takes that one person to say, you know what, I don't want to argue. I don't want to fight. I just want it to be a great night. So, for like 20 minutes, I let everything cool off. So, I was like, you want some champagne? So, she still had the little attitude. She's like, yeah, I want some. So, I gave her some. I also had these um, white chocolates by Linden's, I think it's called. That's white chocolate. And then inside, I have like this silky. Oh, let me eat. Let me eat. Silky. Right, chocolate inside. I gave her a few of those or whatever. Boom. She still was a little mad because we still didn't do nothing that night. All right. Went to bed. Next morning, she's still holding the grudge. And let me tell you, I'm not a problematic person. So the issue wasn't with me. You know what I'm saying? It was with her. I was the, I was the one that was supposed to have the attitude. But I was like, this is Valentine's Day. You know what I mean? I went all out. I'm just going to show her love. But she woke up with the attitude. So, I remember speaking to my mom. My mom's like, you give it to her yet? You give it to her yet? Because I told my mother. Me and my mother, my mother and I, we are very close. I said, you gave her the promise ring yet? I was like, I don't think I'm going to give it to her. Should I give it to her? She's like, do what your heart tells you. Gave her the ring and the chain. She didn't open it. That, she didn't open up the box at first. I'm like, open it. She opened it. But she still was mad. So that just set my whole mood right off. And needless to say, for a few hours, we was back at square one mad with each other. Then by the end of the night, she went out, got some stuff cooked. Um... And she made me a dinner and, it, and brought me some roses. And it was good. It was good. But it's like we had to go through all that just to have a good time. And that pissed me off because I had this, like I said, I had this whole thing figured out how I wanted it to be. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, at the end of the night, at the end of Valentine's night, that's when we kissed and made up. But that whole day was wasted on, you know what I'm saying, us being mad at each other. So it kind of like traumatized me a little bit. You know what I mean? Especially when you're playing something out for your mate and it doesn't go well the next time around you don't even feel like putting in the effort but i'm single this year and i'm not even mad about it but like i said we had a good time at the end of the night of valentine's day i kind of like it without the um the ranch to be honest People, when I tell you this is delicious, 
This is delicious. Y'all gotta try this. I'm rambling about Valentine's Day. Only because I got on all this red. But y'all have to try these hot flaming Cheeto wings. Wow. I didn't even bring a napkin. And shout out to my ex. I'm surprised I didn't have to drink water yet. These wings are so good. It's making me forget about it. it's spicy. Sorry guys if I'm talking too much. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> Comment and let me know what you guys have planned for Valentine's Day or if you had any disaster stories that happened on Valentine's Day. Let me know. If you show me love, I'll definitely show you love. I'm starting to feel a burning in my stomach now. In case y'all forgot what it looks like. <laughs> I'm being silly. Yeah, see, I'm tearing it up. See these bones? So, basically, this is my hot Cheetos, flaming hot Cheetos challenge, I guess. So, y'all try this and let me know how it came out. I always try to find ways to cook less fatty. You say so good. And the chicken is seasoned so well. Guys, <laughs> this make you never want to eat regular buffalo wings again. I mean, the smell that was coming from the toaster oven when I was, ah, jeez, I gave y'all a clue. Well, I told y'all I was baked, but the smells that was coming out the toaster oven, oh my gosh, it just, just the, just the greatest aroma, what have you, and the taste is so good. I was a little skeptical, you know what I'm saying? But um it's definitely good. Yeah. Y'all see that? I tore it up. I'm even showing y'all the bone. So try it and watch my DIY video in the making of this too. You know what I'm saying? So y'all can do it and y'all can tell me how it came out. I know I was talking a lot, but I hope y'all enjoyed my little Valentine's um story or whatever. And I hope y'all enjoyed the hot flaming Cheetos. Um, buffalo wings as well. So, ooh. oh, <laughs> so take care, everybody. Until the next video, peace.